Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys how to move these tandems. So, I already pulled this. This is what you gotta pull to release those pants. So this lever is connected to there. And since I pulled it earlier when I got here and moved them all the way back, that pin scoots all the way in. So, as you can see, it can move all the way to any of these slots that it has. And to move it back all the way to the front, you pull this lever, pulls that pin in, and then as the tires are to the back, we will leave the brake set on the back tandems and the trailer will slowly put this in reverse. So with the truck in reverse and the trailer brake set, we will move our tandems all the way to the front. Okay, so I'm gonna put the truck in reverse. The pins on the tandems are already released. So put it in reverse. And then we're just gonna gradually give it some fuel, give it some gas scoot back the trailer stays in place you just keep going try to go as slow as you can that way you don't slam the trailer the sliding mechanism back there you don't want to slam that against the tandems but once you get to sliding it all the way back you'll know it'll stop you there it is so right there we made some contact all we do is put it back in neutral, trailer brakes are still set, now let's go release that pan. As you can see, tandems were back there, now they're all the way to the very front. And you can see how it slid all the way. So now we're just going to release this pin right here. And releasing that pin, which is connected to there. Now it's gonna allow those right here to be released and then all we're gonna have to do is back up a little bit and it's gonna go into place. It'll slide right into that slot and that's how you move your tandems back. So let's go in there and put this thing in reverse a little bit more until it clicks. All right, so we're back in the truck. Let's put this thing in reverse. Let's see if we can get it, get the sound of it clicking. So. Here we go, we're gonna go back just a little bit. There it is. I don't know if you can hear that, but it clicked in, so. Now I'll just put it back in neutral, and let's go back there and make sure our pin slid into the slot. Okay. So now you just come back here, check it, and there it is. Pin slid in right here, right into the slot like it was supposed to. And then your pull-in mechanism, Everything goes back into where it's uh, locked into place. But uh, you can also go over to the other side, make sure that pin slid in, and always make sure your trailer's shut. It's locked in. Yeah, let's take a look at this. So there's the other one right here. So right there, there it is, right there. It is good to go. And. Uh, I'll mention that there's four pins in all. So see this one went in, and then on the other side has the other. So that is how you move your tandems back into place. And each one of those little slots that you see under there, it's to uh, control the weight in the trailer. So it helps you um, be legal when you're carrying, because you can't be over 34,000 pounds on the trailer tandems and then on your drive tires on the truck you cannot be over 34,000 pounds so by moving the tandems on the trailer that helps you balance out the weight a little bit better so that you're not overweight front or back and uh, DOT won't mess with you that's why they got those weight skills um, just about at every truck stop and and uh, that way you can go down legal, legally down the road without getting a ticket or if you get stopped, they can check that and see that you're good. So on the front, on the front steer tires, you can't be 
over 12,000 pounds. So 12, 34, and 34. That's how you move your tandems back to their normal spot. And then to move them all the way back, you just do the whole process just in reverse.